This tech tip video will explain how to differentiate between the different sizes and mounting configurations when replacing or upgrading your alternator. The first consideration is the length of the pad. Heavy-duty diesel engines have six holes drilled and tapped into the block of the engine or alternator mounting bracket to accommodate both long mounting pads and short mounting pads. This is standard in on- and off-highway applications. So, whether you're replacing a long pad mount style to a short pad mount style, or vice versa, the alternators will interchange on the application. To replace an alternator with a different pad length or mounting hole center line, follow these steps. Step 1. Identify the mounting hole locations. In most cases, the tapped holes will be visible. On certain applications, a bolt will be inserted into the hole to keep out debris and protect the hole and threads from becoming damaged. In this case, the bolts are not securing anything and can be removed for the installation of the new alternator. Step 2. Determine which holes to use. The pad mount holes closest to the drive belt side will always be used on top and bottom of the mount. The back pad mount is where the double holes are drilled and tapped for the long pad and short pad. Step 3. Compare alternator sizes. The hole configurations are typically different when upgrading from brush type alternators, such as the 22SI, 24SI, or 28SI, to high output brushless ones, such as the 35SI, 36SI, 38SI, 40SI, or 55SI. That's because the mounting pads on brushless alternators are much larger. The brush type alternators have a mounting spread of 108 millimeters, or 4.25 inches. The brushless type alternators have a mounting spread of 126 millimeters, or 4.97 inches. Some competitive type alternators also have the longer 4.97 inch pad mount span. Now, let's discuss the J180 mount. The J180 mount is available in two mounting size dimensions, a long hinge and a short hinge. Let's first look at examples of a J180 mount being used with an adjustable slide mount. If the engine alternator mounting bracket is an adjustable slide bracket mount, both the short hinge and the long hinge will fit in the bracket with no modification to the mounting being necessary. There are two reasons for an adjustable slide mount. First, the alternator is used as the main point for adjusting the drive belt tension and can be slid looser or tighter to adjust the drive belt tension accordingly. Secondly, the different size alternator mounting spreads from different manufacturers can be used on that application as well. You can also replace an alternator using a fixed or non-adjustable mount. If the J180 mount is a fixed position mount, then only that size mounting can be used when installing a new alternator. Delco Remy alternators are available in both long and short hinge style mounts. It's important to know the size difference in the short and long mounts. For example, the short hinge style of the Delco Remy alternator has a mounting spread of 7.79 inches between the top and bottom front mounting holes. Some competitive units have a mounting spread of 8.50 inches between the top and bottom front mounting holes. One final point. If the current alternator you're replacing specifically calls for one mount type or the other, and the Delco Remy alternator you're replacing it with is a longer or shorter hinge mount, please call technical assistance at 1-800-372-0222 to obtain the correct part number for the mounting you require.